Welcome back, I'm Ezra Levant. Trinity Western University School of Law has been hit with more discrimination. Members of the Law Society of British Columbia have voted in favor of reversing an earlier decision to accredit Trinity Western graduates. BC's lawyers object to the school's practice of having students sign a personal conduct pledge. That pledge restricts sex to traditional marriage between a man and a woman. While 74% of the Law Society's members voted in favor of blacklisting the Christian school, calling it anti-gay. John Carpe is the president at the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms. He joins me with more from Calgary. John, I think this is a clear-cut case of illegal, unconstitutional discrimination, violating Section 2 of our Charter of Rights. Is that your view as well? Absolutely. This is a frontal assault on freedom of conscience and religion, freedom of expression, and freedom of association. And it's, uh, it's complete misunderstanding of what the free society is all about, which is the, the right of individuals to individually exercise their free expression and freedom of religion, but also uh, under the freedom of association in the Charter, we have a right to gather with other people, uh, and we have thousands of voluntary associations in Calgary, uh, in Canada, sorry, registered charities, uh, ethnic associations, political associations, and uh, th this, this decision is just in complete disregard of our, our fundamental rights to be uh, together with other people and form the associations of our own choice. Uh, this pledge, this community covenant, it's, it's something that uh, students voluntarily impose on themselves. They're not like the religious police in Saudi Arabia going hunting for other people who are violating it. It is a self-discipline. That's what's so remarkable to me that the Law Society wants to ban these students from practicing law simply because they've taken like a vow. I mean, it would be like no priest is allowed to practice law because they took a vow of celibacy or something, and how dare they? It's so odd to me, but it's not just odd. The Supreme Court of Canada actually treated this same case, uh, the same matter when Trinity Western University was blackballed by the teaching professions in BC. That went all the way up to the Supreme Court, and they voted eight to one in favor of Trinity Western. Why do you think these lawyers who surely know about the Supreme Court case, who have surely read the charter, why do you think they voted to blacklist all student graduates of this law school knowing the law and knowing the Supreme Court? Well, I can't and I won't speak for, for those who disagree with Trinity Western's constitutional rights, but my, my guess would be they just can't stand the fact that the Trinity Western adheres to what you know may well be a, a minority viewpoint or an unpopular viewpoint uh, which is a traditional view of sexuality traditional view of marriage and the these lawyers are, are actually attacking uh, the, the free society for the goal of trying to force everybody to agree with the you know, modern or progressive view on sexuality and marriage and, and the point here is not which view is correct. The, the key point is that in a free society, we all have the freedom to have whatever opinions we want about marriage and about sexuality. And we also have the right to form into groups or associations uh, where we have shared beliefs about topics, including marriage and sexuality. And I think it's, it's a really a totalitarian impulse that seeks to impose or, or force on everybody that everybody has to agree with, everybody has to comply with the you know, modern progressive view on sexuality. And that is just the antithesis of a free society because in a free society, you should be able to have whatever views you want about sexuality and marriage and every other topic. Mm -hmm. Especially so if it's, it's just about governing your own self. I mean, surely even libertarians would say, well, do with yourself what you want. But let me get down to business, because I interviewed the boss of the Trinity Western Law School, and I asked him point blank, will you sue? And he sort of hummed and hawed, and I was frustrated by his own uh, lack of passion on this. Maybe it's his job to be very calm and even keeled. But I got on the horn to you. I sent you an email. I said, John, will you take this to court? Because as our viewers know, you've represented our viewers before. We hired you to go fight the Nanaimo City Council when they were doing unconstitutional things. And just when you showed up, you scared them off. So now tell me the cases, the, the two provinces in which you're already fighting for Trinity Western. Tell me about Nova Scotia and Ontario. And tell me about your ability to sue in BC where this latest setback happened. 
Well, in, in Nova Scotia and Ontario, those two law societies, unfortunately, view, uh, ruled against accrediting the Trinity Western graduates. So Trinity Western itself has commenced court actions in those two provinces. And we're intervening from a constitutional viewpoint. We're not a religious organization, but we're intervening with a focus on freedom of association in both of those. In British Columbia, if, if Trinity Western University were to uh, commence a court action there, and I see no reason for them not to because the, the situation is uh, entirely similar to the situation in, in uh, Ontario and Nova Scotia. But if there's a court action filed there, we would certainly apply to the court and, and ask for permission to be an intervener mm -hmm. to argue for constitutional rights, in particular the freedom of association. John, we're out of time here, but this is what I told you on the phone and by email, and I want to tell you it on TV, and I want to invite our viewers to join in. I want to help you fight in Nova Scotia and Ontario, where you are already in the court as an intervener. I want to invite our viewers to raise $5,000 for you to keep on fighting, because this is what you do as a civil liberties lawyer with the Justice Center for Constitutional Freedoms. And if the lawsuit opens up in BC, if Trinity Western sues there, I will ask our viewers again to raise another $5,000 to help cover your cost to intervene there. And I'm, as I always do, I chip in the first 100 bucks, and I invite our viewers to do the next, whatever they can. And John, I don't know if we'll crack $5,000. I hope we will. But for folks who want to help out, go to therealbigots.com. We chose that website because in this case, it's the law society that is banning Christian lawyers. They're the real bigots. We're out of time, John. Let's see if we can't raise you some dough to fight these guys in court. More